All right, we're on to the next section. This is a withdrawal from retirement account that gets taxed here. So we get a 1099, what they call R, 1099R here. Okay, retire, uh, retirement account, IRA, 401k, those, uh, those types of things, okay? So let's go ahead and input this here. The one actually I'm gonna do here is, is actually a rollover from an IRA, traditional IRA to a Roth. Okay, and yeah, it gets taxed, but we don't get hit with the penalty. But I'll kind of go over other common scenarios too that happen. So yes, I got a 1099R. Let's get impressed. Let's do it. Uh, how do I enter? Or we got to enter it a different way. So I don't want to log into my account. Of course, it goes all the way back. Jesus. Um, and I don't want to log into my account because illustration purposes. Yeah, we don't want to go over that. So I'm just going to upload it here. Let's hit continue because I kind of made this one up here all right here we're gonna upload our file and yep it's got it securely boom taking all the information look at that thing go all right next step please let's get impressed here we are okay um have more than one you can start with any of them right now we'll add the rest later who gave you the 1099r financial institution um office of personnel management U.S. government, U.S. government, or for annuities. These are rare. Those are super rare. Most common, of course. That's what it says right on there, Anthony. Okay, let's get this stuff in there. So, of course, I kind of made this one up with all this information on there. So, let's just get this. Okay, here we go. We'll do the basics. One, two, three, Maine, Newport Beach, cool, California. Nine, two, there we are. There it is. Okay, we gotta also make sure that's correct. That's coming from right there. Look at that. Pulled that in. Nice. Yeah, there's no continued name there. All right, let's go. Um, let's see here. Gross distributions. Those are correct, right? 59, 87, 54. Box one and box two. That's correct. Okay. It's not a total distribution, right? We didn't have that box checked. Taxable amount is not determined. Okay, we checked the right box there. No capital gains, no federal income tax withheld. None of those boxes are filled out. That's essentially the only box. And then we have box seven here that is filled out. We got box seven code two here, okay? So another common code is code one. So if it does have a one in there, unfortunately, that means you just pulled the money out and you actually got the money in hand in your checking account or savings. You got the, you got that check, okay? Um, so you're gonna have to pay the tax on this plus the penalty for what they call early withdrawal. If it's a code seven, that means you're of age, 59 and a half, and you pulled the money out. So you're gonna have to pay tax, but at least you won't get hit with that penalty, that 10% penalty. Okay, um, there's a, obviously a couple more codes there, but those are the most common. We got this code too, because again, there was an early withdrawal, but there was an exception to the penalty. The exception of the penalty is this rollover to the Roth. Okay, that's what we did here. All right, so none of this applied. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know why it's giving me these things here, but nonetheless, here we go. None of this applied here. All right, continue. Great news, you don't any extra taxes, but you avoided, right? Okay, yeah, okay, what? That's kind of a misnomer. But nonetheless, like I just explained, we're not gonna get hit with the early withdrawal penalty, but we do have to pay tax on the withdrawal from the traditional IRA because it went in tax-free. So eventually, either regardless, when you retire or if you roll into a Roth, which is an after-tax account, then you gotta pay the tax. So that's what's going on here. Uh, any of these situations apply? I took this money out due to, no, none of these apply. So these are some of the other, ex I need to file, no. I inherited this, I moved to my HSA, no. No, none of this applies to me, those are rare. Uh, tell us if you move the money through a rollover, a conversion, yeah, I rolled uh, over some or all of the to, in those, to a Roth, that's what I did, okay? Put it all into a Roth. Yeah, did it all. Okay, because if you got less, then they're going to tax you the penalty on the less amount because then you touched it. All right, so there it is. Have you ever taken a disaster distribution? Oh, so, okay, in twenty before 2021, no. So the disaster distribution, I would say that's another one of those COVID specials that happened for 2020 where you could pull out of a retirement account and you can, if it was COVID disaster related, 
then you could avoid the 10% penalty and you can have that taxed over three years instead of in just the year that you pulled it out. So that's what this is asking. If you did do that in 2020, then you'll have to have some of it taxed in 21 and in 22. So that's what this is going on here. But I'm going to say no for illustration, right? Repayments. That's what it is. All right, here we go. Repayments. Actually, you can repay that and not get taxed on. That would be another situation as well. Any non-deductible contributions to your IRA? I'm going to say no. Tell us the value of your traditional IRA at the end of the year. So I could say $5,000. Outstanding rollovers, zero, zero. Deal. Let's do this. All right, there we go. There's income right there. 